Well, Cuphead and his pal Bug Man, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed, but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. Hello, everybody. You can't be next here. Back in with another video that I'm very happy to be bringing you guys. Cuphead has released today, finally, and I've been waiting for this game for like, what, like, two or three years I've been waiting to play this game, this beautiful, beautiful game. I know that YouTube doesn't really, um, express the beauty of this game, because, you know, YouTube is really crap. But trust me, this game is beautiful. Don't, if you have an Xbox or a PC, buy this game now. It's only 20 bucks, okay? Just please, just go buy it. <laughs> anyway, so today uh, I want to do a little bit of a different video um, about, let's see, about not, not a let's play or a walkthrough, but a how-to guide of how to start off in the beginning of Cuphead. Okay, so I think that we are good here. Let's go. So once you get out of the story mode, you know, out of the, um, the house and the tutorial, the first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is go straight to the uh, strawberry guy on the bridge. He'll, like, say, oh, you guys are in for this time, gambling with the devil. <laughs> And, uh, he'll give you three coins, okay? Now, that's a lot of coins, surprisingly. Um, the, and then right after you get those coins from him, you'll want to go straight to the, uh, uh, Pork Rinds Emporium and go and buy the four, the fourth health, uh, thing. Because, uh, basically what that will do is that <laughs> he'll give you an extra hit point and you need an extra hit point. It'll weaken your tag just a little bit, but I feel like the trade-off is good. If you don't want to do that, then um, when you do the tutorial, you'll get one gold coin. So you want to do the tutorial, but if uh, you don't want to do that, since you have four gold coins, you could buy the uh, spread shot, basically a shotgun. And that, that, uh, that like gun type is really good for most bosses. And... Uh, right after that, you want to go to, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, what is it, Botanic Panic. So, uh, don't be like me. Just do as I say, don't do as I do. Because, uh, what basically, in the clip I'm about to show you, um, I died on, like, the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> but let me explain why. It's only because, uh... I tried to parry the worms, and yes, you can parry the worms, and yes, you can parry everything pink in the game, including the spike balls, like the whole moving spike balls and like the forest fathers level, I don't know if it's any other level, probably is, but anyway, besides that, um, it's, it's, it's just an easy boss, it, it, it doesn't take that much explain you just, just hold X and just press A when you're on the potato, just, you know, dodge it, and then when you're on the onion, just, just keep holding X, and then just look up to make sure you don't get hit by its tears, and on the carrot, just be good, and, you know, avoid the carrot missiles. These things are surprisingly fast, but anyway, right after you, uh, um, right after you beat the boss, boss, um, what you'll want to do next is that you'll want to go directly to Forest Follies 
and get all five coins as fast as possible. Yes, you can jump, I mean, not jump, parry on the spike balls. Yes, that's how you get the coin that's above the spike ball there. And it's not that hard, it's just like you just gotta be patient with everything. You gotta just, you know, always be on your toes about that. And the next place you'll want to go after you get the five coins is back to um, the Emporium, the Pork Runs Emporium. And if you bought, if you bought the heart, buy the uh, shotgun thing, the spread shot. Or if you bought the spread shot, go back and buy the heart thing. Okay, and then, uh, then you know the game tells you, but you want to press Y and like go go to your shot B. And then equip your spread shot, and then go to your charm, and, and equip the, uh, uh, was the heart. And so the next place we'll be going to is the, um, uh, Ruse of an Ooze, I think it's called. So basically, once you get to Goopy, or the Ruse of an Ooze fight, basically, you just want to... Just shoot him for the first two phases, anyway. Just shoot him with your uh, with your like blue gun, and uh, any time he like like you stay like one hop away from him at all times, and every time he uh, gets near you, every time he like you know starts to jump, you run towards him and then dash, um, so that um, you'll always like you know be be away from him, and you just keep shooting him, and then you know. He takes steroids, and then uh, he'll turn into a big goopy, you know. And then after you kill him, he'll turn into like a big old gravestone. And basically, what you want to do with that is that you want you always you want to equip your uh, shotgun blast. And, but the strategy for this is that you want to always go the opposite direction of him. So if he's if he's like going left from like from the right of the screen to the left. You want to go from the left of the screen to the right and just like, just shoot him, like, just like as you pass by each other. And if you do that, and it's like, yeah, if you do that, you'll be able to kill him. As long as you like, you know, you dash as soon as he uh, starts to collapse on you, you'll you'll win the fight easily. Just, uh, just be sure to you know, uh, not um, not not get under him when he's um, when he's you know smashing you. So, I hope this guy was helpful to any of you who uh, want to start playing Cuphead. It's a very fun game. Very, very fun. I will be making a lot more videos about this. Don't worry, it's just, for now, um, just wait for the videos. I'll, I'm going to be doing a lot more, like, separate videos on bosses alone. Just, like, how to fight the boss in each phase of the boss and how to tackle that. And, uh, yeah. Seems like it. That's it. This has been Yuka Pancakes. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.